hi everyone so welcome to the cat previous year's question series in which we are going to solve the actual questions from the actual past cat papers so today we are discussing one more set from logical reasoning and data interpretation and this set had come in the uh, morning slot that is slot 1 of the uh, year 2022 so let's just quickly jump into the set so this set is basically related to the hockey teams and the number of goals that they have uh, scored so let's try to read it first the management of a university hockey team was evaluating the performance of four women players amla bimla harita sarita abhs for their possible selection in the university team for the next year for this purpose the management was looking at the number of goals scored by them in the past eight matches number 1 to 8 the four players together had scored a total of 12 goals in these eight matches in the eight matches each of them had scored at least one goal so basically everyone scored at least one minimum goal no two players had scored the same number of goals so these these kinds of statements are very crucial when you are dealing with logical reasoning and data interpretation the following facts are also known about the goals scored by these four players all the questions refer only to the goals scored by these four players so then there are additional six pointers which we are going to be using to simplify the questions so the first point only one goal was scored in every even numbered match so match number 2468 one one goal exactly one goal was scored harita scored more goals than bimla the highest goal scorer scored goals in exactly three matches including match number 4 and 8 bimla scored goal in first match and one each in three other consecutive matches so basically bimla scored four goals overall is what we can say an equal number of goals was scored in match 3 and 7 which was different from the number of goals scored in either match 1 or match 5 and sixth point the match in which the highest number of goals scored was scored was unique and it was not the match number 5 so that's the initial information that we are going to use while solving the uh, data there were four questions again all of them were your mcq questions so you had options also to take the help of we'll come to this questions later let's first very quickly jump into the uh, jump into the solving of the data so using the information that we have with us a total 12 goals were scored in in the eight matches and each player scored at least one goal and the number of goals scored by each of them is different so basically we will have to break these 12 goals among the four players and that break up can be either 1 2 3 6 4 or it can be 1 2 4 5 the number of goals basically the 12 goals by the four players from fourth statement what do we know that bimal scored four goals and since harita scored more goals than bimal so we can say that harita scored five goals and only case possible for the total goals scored by each of the player then becomes 1 2 4 5 so because if you see fourth statement they said that bimal scored one goal in some match and then one one each in three consecutive matches so bimal overall scored four goals and then we also know from the previous statement that harita scored more than bimal so that means harita has to score five only so the the first possibility of 1 2 3 6 get discarded so 1 2 4 5 that's the only possibility we are left with now using statement 1 statement 3 and statement 4 and obviously you can refer that to the original data we can say that three consecutive matches in which bimal scored will be match number 5 match number 6 and match number 7 as harita has scored in match number 4 and match number 8 so combining all of this what we can do is we can start uh, creating a small table basically so this is let's say number of matches then let's say goal scored and then who's the player so match 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 7 8 8 matches 12 goals goals scored so we know now 
bimal scored in the in the first match one goal then harita scored in match number 4 and match number 8 one one goal each then bimal also scored in three consecutive matches that is match number 6 uh, sorry 5 6 and 7 so this much as of now we know and we also know the even number of matches are the ones where only one goal was scored so harita you have scored just one goal so even number of matches are just one goal scored so Match number two, four, six, and eight. So this is the table we can create. Now moving to the next pointers that we can consider. So now from statement number five and six, what we can conclude that is the highest number of goals were scored in first match. and let's we'll have to now you know you can solve this by using the equation let the number of goals scored in match number 3 and 7 be a each because they were supposed to be same match 3 and 7 so match 3 and 7 be a they have to be same and goals scored in match first and match fifth b b and c so 3 and 7 is a match 1 we are assuming b and match fifth we are assuming c respectively and we also know that the sum of all these values should be equal to 8 so that it gives us 2a plus b plus c is equal to 8 the equation because 3 and 7 a each so two times of that hence 2a suppose if a is 1 then obviously b plus c becomes 6 and the possible values for b and c can be only 2 and 4 in that case suppose if a is 2 then b plus c becomes 4 and only possible solution can be then for b and c will be 1 and 3 but if you remember the highest number of goals were scored in first match so then number of scored goals scored in first match must be 3 and harita must have scored 3 goals in first match as harita scored overall 5 goals in exactly three matches so if you see harita has already scored in match number 4 and match number 8 one goal each uh, from the from the data point so that means harita additionally scored three goals in match number first as well so basically match number first had overall four goals three of which were scored by harita and that means this is not possible because then the number of scored scored in first match becomes four that means the only possible solution can be when a is 1 because if we assume that harita scored three matches uh, sorry three goals in first match the overall goals in first match then becomes four and that means the only and only possible solution is that a is 1 and that means b plus c is 6 and that means the values are 2 and 4 so b is 4 and c is now moving to the next part and this is like the last bit now and we'll get all our answers basically the remaining three goals were scored in match number 2 3 and 5 by amla and sarita in some order i will have to figure that out as well by amla and sarita in that order the remaining three goals in which matches match number 2 3 and 5 match number 2 so the one goal that can be scored is can be either of amla and sarita same goes for match number 3 also one goal either of amla and sarita and match number 5 uh, bimla has already scored a goal so that means overall there will be two goals one of which can be either amla and sarita so this is going to be your break up of the 12 goals across eight matches and this is how it can be done once you are done with this solution we can very very quickly answer all the questions that are associated with this one
But if you see the first question talks of so from this one what we have understood is that a is one b b has to be four and c has to be two and if you remember a were the number of goals scored in third and seventh match b were number of goals scored in first match and c were number of goals scored in the fifth match which is two so all of these satisfies so first question how many goals were scored in match number 7 so match number 7 that is a that is 1 so let me just very quickly go back to the questions so that we can have a look at that how many goals were scored in match number 7 so that is one goal scored that is option 1 is your answer second question which of the following is the correct sequence of goals scored in match number 1 3 and 5 7 Match number one three five seven odd number of matches basically they are asking. So if you see odd number of matches one three five seven, one is four, three is one, five is two, and seven is one again. So four one two one is what we are looking at. So four one two one clearly if you see that is option number four. Then which of the following statement is true? Amla and Sarita never scored goals in the same match. Can be possible if you see that Amla and Sarita can never scored in the same match, right? Yeah, they are always in the in the either or cases. So if Amla scores, Sarita will not score, and vice versa. So yes, I think that is the correct statement. They never scored together in the same match, and Harita and Sarita never scored in the same match. Let's verify that Harita and Sarita never scored in the same match. Yes, that is also absolutely right because Harita and Sarita are never in the same match. They were always scoring in the different different matches. So I think both these statements are to, true, and that is the reason why we'll mark answer option three. Fourth one, which of the following statements are false? Now be careful. False statement they are asking, not true. First statement: In every match, at least one player scored the goal. In one, in every match, at least one player scored a goal. In every match, is there any any one player scoring a goal? Not really. Then, no two players scored goals in the same number of matches. So that is also not right. So I think none of these statements are false. Both these statements are true. So in every match, at least one player scored a goal. Yes, that is correct. And no two players scored goals in the same number of matches. That is also correct. But they are asking false statement, and that is the reason the answer is none of these. So both are negation. Question also has false. That is negative. Answer option is also negation. Both the negation will cancel out each other. Fifth one: If Arita scored goals in one more match as compared to Sarita, which of the following statements are necessarily True. Harita scored goals in one more match as compared to Sarita. So, first statement: Amla scored goals in consecutive matches. Amla scored in consecutive matches. No. Then Sarita scored goals in consecutive matches. I think that is also not right because if you see Amla and Sarita, they were always either and or. So, I think this is also going to be none of the statements are true. And again. Answer option three. So this is how you could have solved this question and this set. Uh, and this was the uh, another set from the actual paper of CAT 2022 slot one. Do give it a try again one more time with the information and with the question all by yourself without having looking at the solution. If you don't understand, then have a look at the solution. That will add more value to your. learning as well and you'll exactly know where did you go wrong or which pointers you missed earlier so with this we are done with this thank you so much we have batches for both mba and bb entrances cat zat and mat cmat cet npat snap testnet we have offline online lectures we have mock test series gdpi training mentorship we have our classroom coaching at burivli and andheri centers you can call us on the following numbers for the free demo session you can follow us on the various social media platforms 
and of course if you like this channel do subscribe it for the more future regular updates and share it with your friends as well thank you so much